Hi, and welcome to this episode on adding your stock items for Enterprise. I'm Sharon from Enterprise, and in this session, we'll look at adding your stock items, allocating them to warehouses, and adding in price lists. So let's get started and click on items here on the left, and into stock items, and click on new item. So starting off, we'll enter the item code. So this is an alphanumeric code of your choice and then enter the description. Okay, select the item group. So this is from the group that we defined in module settings previously. You can select the group and then over here, the item type. So we can choose here between stock items, non-stock items, and obviously for ERP, you have an option here for, for bill of materials for anybody that's using inventory with within relation to SAP Business One. So we'll leave that as stock items. So the difference between a stock item and a non-stock item is that stock items, we'll be able to track all the movements. Non-stock items, you won't be able to track the quantities and movements. So let's just click on stock items. You can enter in a barcode if you have it. You can assign a unit of measured description. So for example, maybe you hold this item in packs, in boxes or pallets, whatever you require. Over here on the right, we can specify whether or not we want to use batch numbers for this item. So this is where from a production process that when you receive in your items that you need to allocate them for, to batch numbers with expiry dates. So where the production, you need to track those items. So that can be ticked here. This option here to click on hold allows you to place the item and hold if you don't want the item to be sold or to be purchased for whatever reason. Here on the right, we can select an image to attach to our item. So you can click in here, you can attach an image, click on open, and you can remove it and change it at any time. So moving down then to the priceless tab, within here you'll see a selection of all the priceless that you've defined in module settings. So if I pop over here to page two, these are the priceless that we've entered. From here, I can enter in the price for this item. So let's enter in a selling price. I can specify then the currency that this item will be sold. And down the bottom, if I want to, I could also put in a purchase price. So when I'm allocating the, the price list to the supplier, I can put in a purchase price. And again, if there's a currency that I specifically buy the product in, I can choose that now also. So moving across to the reordering tab, this is simply where you can record information against when you're reordering the stock items. So what your minimum stock, maximum stock and reorder quantity want to be. And of course, your default supplier, who you normally um, request or order the stock from. Then moving on to the taxes tab. So this is where you can specify the sales and purchase taxes. And of course, depending on your localization, if withholding tax is applicable to your stock. Sales tax and purchase tax, if they're allocated at this point, these tax codes will override anything that you've allocated against your customer. So when you're adding your invoices, the customer tax code that you've selected will be overwritten by the item tax code selection. So just to make note of that. And then if we click on save, now the item is added. And the next step we can do is we can specify the warehouses for this item. So we can see here is an overview of the item. So as the stock comes in and out, we'll be able to see what the stock on hand is, what's been committed to any sales orders, what's free to be sold, and of course, what's on any open purchase orders. Down here on the overview, you'll get some um, more information in regards to sales revenue, the value of the items and all transactions, and of course, your stock position. In the warehouses tab, so just to verify here on the warehouses tab, you can add new warehouses directly from here. And you can also specify which warehouse is the default warehouse for this particular item. So I can say that it's the general warehouse. And further down the line, which will be explained in a further video, you'll be able to do stock transfers and transfer stock between the various warehouses for this specific item. So thank you for watching and hope that's helped you to identify how to simply add a stock item to the system. And for any further help, check out help.enterprise.com or reach out to any of our support colleagues here within the chat box. And you also have a link here to the Help Centre. Thank you for watching.